on YouTube. I've got, uh, I'm making a jig. I've made a router jig for cutting circles for my little router. I picked up a little, um, a very old Black & Decker router at the boot fair. And what I wanted to show you was the mechanism. I had some perspex laying about, which obviously I cut a groove in. And there's some holes, what was in it, what, you know, what was in it was what it was. There's a hole to fix the router, then three holes, and I just glued on a couple of strips. And what I want to show you is this daft. Uh, where's the camera gone now? I drilled out this, this bolt to put a normal standard now in, right? So, because my other design of a circular jig, once it come off while I was cutting a circle and ruined the piece of work, and I don't want that to happen. I want a visual, uh, you know, guide. I want a visual alert, alarm, you know, whatever you want to call it, an indicator, there you go, of if that's coming out. And basically, you just centre it, get it in the centre, sort of pre now the um, the centre of the hole and then drive this one in drive this now in and it doesn't affect the operation of the jig at all now it's just a, a bolt rammed in and glued into that bit of wood okay you could do it from the other side wouldn't really matter but I wanted something, you know, just using what I had to hand. And the slide, that was from a little jig set. You could use a a coach bolt or something and do it the other way around. There are plenty of ways to do this. But anyway, it just slides in. Um, slides in that way around. So, you know, you can adjust your adjust your uh, width. Now, this is the piece I'm going to use it on. I don't know if you can make out the circle. This was um, an IKEA chopping board, second hand from the boot fair, right? Which is, uh, I think it's beach. I'm not exactly sure. I think it's beach. I should have checked, really. But you might be able to just make out my circle on there. I don't want to press the camera because it'll uh, ruin it. But the interesting thing is, I wanted a small bowl. So, if you can read on there, hygienic pet bowl. This is a dog bowl. Stainless steel and... This is going to be my sink in the camper van, right? Right? And all I'm going to have to do is drill a hole in a bit of plywood. Let me try and demonstrate. Um, well, I'll tell you what I'm trying to achieve. Here's another bowl. This is a thicker bowl, a thicker dog bowl, right? I went for a thinner one. It was only cheap on eBay. That's about four, five pound. Right, brand new. Who gives a damn, eh? So, bear with me a moment. You can see that dimple, that recess for the for the sink thing, right? You can see the recess and the crease. That's because I banged it a little bit too much. Because you can get most of the way there. Right, with most of the recess, right? You can bang that down, and you can see it's pronounced on there, right? You can see that, can't you? That's, that's about five mil, four or five mil. And, well, basically, um, bear with me one moment. I've got this already. 
I had a rough bit of plywood, right? From when I was trying to experiment with some plywood before, I was going to paint it, and I changed my mind, and then this bit of wood turned up. That chopping board, what cost me a pound? That chopping board, I paid at the boot fair, a pound, right? So, if you can see these holes sort of correspond with the size of that recess, right? There's a reason for that. You get your um, hole cutter out. Whoops. You get your hole cutter out, right? You drill your hole, okay? And then you bang. You put the sink, position the sink where you want it, and the plug, which I can't find, the plywood plug, you put in here. That, that piece, you put in here. And then you hit it with the hammer, boom. Yeah, you just tap it in with the hammer. And it will take, so you cut the hole to the size you want. You know, if I was doing a bigger hole, right, in a bigger sink, it's really awkward upside down with this camera. If I wanted a bigger hole, what, what's going on? I can't, I can't seem to light this camera up. This is hilarious. What is happening? Yeah, if I wanted a bigger hole, right, an even bigger hole like that, I could do it, right? I don't know if there'd be less or more chance of it creasing, right, like that. You can see that crease, can't you? I went too much. It's just, do it, you know, it's a bit of guesswork. It's only a cheap bowl. It's a, a worthy experiment. And, you know, whatever plug you cut, you keep. You can try and round, the, round it off a little bit. Round off, you know, taper it slightly and taper the plug. But I think I just, I went for it to see if it would work, you know. Will it or won't it? Well, on that note, I'm going to do a part two. Uh, I could try and bang it, but I think the on camera, but the uh, pressure of the experiment, I need to take my time. I've got to cut another hole anyway. I don't want to do all that on camera. It'll be a bit of a long video because I don't have editing facilities at the moment, so... There's more coming up in part two, so um, give us a follow, and in part three I'll show you the bathroom, what I've been doing in the camper, and it's rather nice, it really is rather nice, if I say so myself, um, it's taken me ages, so part two, see you in part two, thanks for watching.